Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're returning and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Rachel and I'm a reseller on sites like eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. So I buy online liquidation and I sell it online for a profit. Today I'm doing a 90 day update on my Quick Lots original mystery box that I purchased a few months ago. And if you wanna see if I actually made money on this box, definitely stick around. So this was the box that I ordered one Quick Lots original mystery box and it was amazing. I mean, absolutely, as I was pulling it out of the box and I can link that mystery box unboxing down below. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is in here. Oh my gosh. And then as I was listing this stuff, it was even better. Like stuff that I thought was crap was like worth much more money than I ever would have imagined. So I instantly ran back online and I ordered another one and I got this. So I'll link that mystery box unboxing below as well if you want to see the original of this one. But today is the update. I want to share with you what actually sold out of this box and if I made a profit. So if you like reseller content, certainly consider subscribing to my channel. I do a lot of unboxings on this channel and um, one of my favorite things to do is give you an update 90 days later. So I unbox live, I show you what it is. I list everything on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari or various online reselling platforms and I come back 90 days later to let you know if I actually made money. Hit that like button if you don't mind, that really does help out my channel a lot. And uh, let me know down below if you've ordered a Quick Lots original mystery box lately and how it's done for you. I am definitely curious to know, especially after you see the results of mine. It might have been a 30 piece, it might have been a 50 piece. But anyway, I ended up listing 26 items at $11.53 per piece. So I ended up selling 26 items and I have nine items remaining. So what I'll do is I'll show you on the side here everything that has sold and then I'll show you what I still have left and then I'll talk about if I made profit and if I would buy another one based on these results. I'm a little bit behind on my 90 day updates as of right now and whenever I'm behind on boxes, I swear this never fails. The stuff from the box I'm behind on sold on eBay and it sold when I first listed it. So I don't have screenshots, but the good news is, um, I upgraded a few months ago to the list perfectly pro plus plan. If you've been watching my channel, you know, I cross post with list perfectly. Well, anyway, I've upgraded to the pro plus plan. And with that one, I don't feel like I need to delete my sold listings cause it runs way faster. Even if I leave the sold listings in there. So eventually, even if I don't have a screenshot on eBay, I will still have a picture of the item to show you. But in the meantime, there are going to be some on this box that I simply just do not have screenshots for. Hopefully soon that will resolve itself. Anyway, um, here is what sold in order of lowest profit to highest profit. Um, first and foremost, this Fallout 76 PS4 game. I got a whopping $5.99 on eBay for this one. Honestly, I didn't even expect to sell it. It had a big ugly sticker on the front of it that was ripped off. And I mean, PS4, I feel like there's many more PS versions that are more up to date than that. So I listed it at $5.99 based on kind of what other people had it listed for, but I did not have high hopes, but hey, it sold. Uh, I'll take it just to recover a little bit of my money. Speaking of money, I guess I should tell you how much this box was. Um, this box was $300. So this everything I, I purchased was $300 for the box, which broke down to $11.53 per piece uh, on this box. Then there was a, oh, there was this self-cleaning slicker brush, which was like from Target for $4.99. <laughs> so there was really no good place to list this to even make it worth my time to list it. So... I put it in my reseller toolkit that I have for like cleaning up stuff. I figure if I ever get something with like fur, like that I need to brush out the hood, like, you know, those jackets with the fur. If I ever need to like brush something, I have a slicker brush. Um, that was the best use that I could think of this because I don't have pets or anything either. So, um, so there's that. There was a Fusion Pocketbook bundle from the brand Rocketbook. Pocketbook from Rocketbook. There you have it. $9 Mercari sale. This didn't retail very high anyway, so hey, that's that's fine. Um, 
these next two I don't have screenshots for but there was a, uh, a set of markers like art markers um, those sold for $9.99 on eBay and there was a pair of digital like I think they were like blue light blocking glasses um, those were sold also on eBay for $9.99 um, so both of those things actually sold very quickly on eBay. I didn't get a lot of money for them. You know, everything so far that we're talking about is at a loss. Um, but I knew I was going to have to list that low do dollar stuff just to like maybe even break even on this box. Honestly, that's how I felt when I did the initial unboxing and when I was listing this stuff. So it is what it is. I got a little bit of money back on that stuff. Um, then there was the Animal Crossing collector box. This was Nintendo, which Animal Crossing, I guess, is a Nintendo game. Um, this wasn't worth very much either. This was a $10 Poshmark sale. Again, we're still running in the negative if we're talking $11.53 per piece. Um, there was the Nerf gun, which I guess Nerf gun is pretty cool, right? Except they're, they're not that expensive. Um, so that also was a $10 Poshmark sale. That was actually sold in a bundle. So... Um, I mean, I'm glad somebody was able to take it. I will tell you, I'm not used to shipping stuff in that shape. So that was kind of fun to figure out how to ship that thing. But whatever, um, still got $10 back out of that one. There was a eyebrow pencil from Too Faced. That was a $10 Mercari sale. We are still not in the green. Still not in the green. There was there was a set of Gillette Pro Glide um, razor cartridges. Those sold for $10 on Poshmark. I have never had a nickel dime box like this one, let me tell you. Just looking at this, it's like, oh my gosh. And it took me all this time to list all this stuff. Um, I had these Virginia Cavaliers sweatpants from the brand Champion. These were a $10 eBay sale. Then there was this Verizon Blue View 2 cell phone. I don't know anything about burner cell phones, prepaid cell phones. I didn't know if this thing worked. I didn't know if somebody was going to be able to activate it. And so I couldn't even really say when I listed it, like what condition it was in other than like, here's the phone, here's what it comes with. If you want to take your chances on it, like have at it because I, I, I had no way to like test it out or anything. Like I knew it would turn on, but that's about it. So it was hard for me to even like try to get a lot of money for it um, just because of all those things. And maybe if I was a little bit better at or knew more about electronics, specifically cell phones, and I knew the capabilities of the item, it may have turned out differently for me. Um, but A, I'm not. And B, I was not willing to take the time to figure it out, to research it. So um, I listed it for like 20 bucks and eventually I got a $12 offer on Poshmark. So I just went ahead and took it and hopefully the person that purchased it knows more about it and knows whether or not they can even activate it because I had no idea. Um, then, oh, look, we're finally getting into profitable items here. Now that we're about two thirds done with the countdown, um, they sent a Midnight's by Taylor Swift vinyl. Um, that sold on Mercari for $15, which was also a crazy pain to ship because I don't normally ship things that are shaped like vinyl records. And I, I shipped it in like this big, huge box that I like just slipped it into and it stood up because I didn't have any sort of other, cause you can't really ship that in a poly mailer. Um, and I didn't have a box that was flatter. So I just like stuck it straight up in the box with some like, you know, paper around it. So that was pretty funny. I'm sorry to whoever bought that for me because yeah, not my, not my, uh, normal shipping item, but anyway, $15 Poshmark sale. So we made a little bit, a dollar 23 on that one. Fantastic. Um, moving along, there was a muslin Christmas blanket by the brand Mud Pie. This was really cute. I don't have a screenshot because it was eBay, but it was like a muslin blanket, like for a newborn and it had a little candy cane attached. That was a rattle. Um, it was adorable, but it was an $18 eBay sale. Um, it sold back in August, so it's, you know, it's actually sold very quickly, and, and I, I don't have a, a screenshot for it. Then there was this leopard print hat from Kangle. I couldn't find the exact style name. Um, I found similar ones, but not this exact one. And uh, so this was a Poshmark sale, $25 that I got for this. Again, not didn't retail for a ton wasn't reselling for a ton so 
I'm not surprised. There was the pink baseball cap from Ralph Lauren. This was a $27.99 eBay sale that I don't have a screenshot for. It did sell in five days though. So this was only listed a few days. And, and honestly, I would say if you find Ralph Lauren like accessories, hats, gloves, scarves, that stuff, it always sells really, really quick for me. So just keep that in mind. Um, because anytime I've gotten Ralph Lauren in my Quick Lots boxes, it's like the first thing to go. So do keep that in mind. Um, there was this corset waist trainer from Skims. Um, this one sold on Poshmark for $30. It did have the little case with it that the Skims come in sometimes, but you could tell it was either tried on or used because it was it already had some like puckering and I wasn't going to get a ton for it. Um, even brand new, it didn't retail for that much. So uh, $30, I think, was a fair price on that one. Um, then this belt. So this belt was Isabel Marant. I think that's how you say that. Um, and the last chance price was like 120 something. So it retailed even high, way higher than that, obviously, if that was the last chance price. Um, and I had it listed for the longest time. It was like over four months. And it got a ton of interest, but no likes or no offers, you know, nobody purchased it. And then finally it sold on Vestaire for $33. And on Vestaire, they take like the first, like the minimum is $15. Anytime you sell anything on Vestaire for less than $50, the chunk they take is pretty hefty. So I did not make much on that at all. Um, but I'm glad that it finally sold. And actually it was funny. This one actually had a sensor on it. And I was like, oh, well, how am I going to get the sensor off? And then I just literally took a pair of scissors and cut it. I was like, who is that really stopping? But anyway, um, and then, of course, the highest sale of the box, I don't have a screenshot for, but I found a picture of it at least. It was this Kate Spade, like, dark gray or, like, um, slate colored watch band. This sold for $49.99 on eBay. So that was the highest sale out of the box. Um, I'm sure you can tell where this is going, but I'm going to just run down what I still have left. Um, there is a little bit of potential for profit still here, but really not much. I've got um, the Shuri Pop tee. So this is like a Funko Pop with a t-shirt. Um, that's still here. There is this Aries gold necklace from BP is not worth anything really. Um, and it hasn't really had any interest either. There's this bridal hair piece. The brand is Brides and Hairpins, which is really difficult if you're searching the internet for Brides and Hairpins as the brand name. Very hard to find anything. I was able to find some um, from this brand, but not this exact style. Um, it's a really pretty, like you would have your hairdresser like weave this into your hair for your wedding day. Obviously, it's going to take the, the very right buyer to want something like this. And they are very pricey, brand new, but I haven't had um, any interest in it. I've lowered the price quite a bit. It's just not something that is like sought after on the secondhand market, I guess. I, I don't know. Any advice you have for selling that? I mean, I think it has the potential to be like the, the winner out of this box. It just it hasn't sold yet. Um, then I have this bronze tumbler from LSA International. The first box I got had one of these tumblers and it sold for around $50 if I remember correctly, but this one is still sitting here. So hopefully that will sell soon. There's a thing of calcium tablets. Um, most platforms you can't sell medicine so or supplements so I have these listed on eBay, but I can't really list them anywhere else. I think I'm about to pull them down and like give them away in my local buy nothing group um, just so that they can get used before the expiration because like nobody wants these and they're heavy they're heavy to ship it's like a bottle of like big huge vitamins um, there is a screen protector for an older model iPhone that is still sitting here and then I've got these two pink Starbucks tumblers which I thought for sure would sell I didn't price them very high at all and they're still sitting here so I've got those two so to recap this lovely box, I spent $300 on it and to date, I am still in the hole $26.45. So I have not yet made my money back, let alone double, let alone triple. Was this a good box? 
No, I should have just let a good thing be a good thing. And I had that wonderful first box and I should have just left it because like you're never going to get a another one of the same box ever. I've learned if you buy one and it's good, just quit while you're ahead because usually the second one is never as good. And that was the case with this one. Um, based on these results, I absolutely will not buy this box again. <laughs> Oh gosh, no way. No, this was because not only did I not make any money, but listing this stuff, like you said, with like the Nerf gun and the vinyl record, this is outside of what I'm used to shipping and storing and listing. So it's all extra work. It's outside of my normal groove. So that really adds into the value of the box um, is, is how easy it is to list. And I do like getting boxes like this occasionally because it does help me learn about new brands, new categories. You know, you, I don't like to be stuck in one place. I devote most of my business to what I know already works to me, but I still like to devote a portion of what I do to learning new things. And that's kind of where these boxes come in. But this one just, yeah, this, this was a good example of what not to do if we're being honest. So, I wouldn't buy this box again. Will I buy this box again actually in the future? I don't know, probably not. I, The last time I ordered from Quick Lots, I wasn't super impressed with the items or the customer service uh, when I tried to ask about the items. So it's not likely, but I wanted to update you guys anyway in case this is a box that you're looking at potentially purchasing. Here's an example of what might come inside. So let me know down in the comments what you think. If you're surprised, if you remember the original unboxing on this one, I would love to hear your thoughts. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more unboxing videos and more 90 day updates. I've got them coming your way. And hit that like button if you don't mind on the way out. That really helps out my channel a lot as well. But that's it for today, friends. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.